What's going on, Giants fans? Happy Monday. It is raining. It is dreary outside. I'm on my way home from work. It looks like crap outside, but waking up this morning, it was pleasant. Aside from the Phillies making the World Series, don't even get me started with baseball. The New York Giants, our beloved New York football Giants, are 6-1. and one. We have the second best record in the NFL, behind a half a game behind the Philadelphia Eagles. Boo. We are 6-1. and one. Daniel Jones and the Giants lead the NFL in five game-winning fourth-quarter drives. And it was a great win yesterday. Again, it shouldn't have come down to how it ended. But whatever, that's football. Sometimes that's just how the ball rolls. That's the way it is. That's how the cookie crumbles. But we won, and that's all that's, that matters. Um, just want to give you guys a little update on the injury front. We had three guys go down yesterday. Bredersen, Evan Neal, and our starting tight end, Daniel Bellinger. I uh, just want to give you a few updates. Uh, Bredersen looks like it's not as bad as we initially thought. It's not an ACL injury. He's having further tests done today. More evaluating tomorrow. Um, but it does not look as serious as we once thought. Uh, not, sure to, not sure about the timetable on his return. Um, I will monitor that closely and get back to you. Uh, with Evan Neal, it looks like a grade 2 MCL sprain, they're saying. Um, they said he's going to miss some time. Not sure what that means. Is it two weeks? Is it three weeks? Is it a month? I don't know yet. When I do know, I will make sure to update you guys um, because I'm very, very curious and worried about him. He's one of our best tackles on our team. He's a starting tackle. Um, he's doing a great job in the running game. He's having some shaky starts, but he's better than what we got. Luckily, the guys who have filled in for him have done well yesterday. In the fourth quarter, we ran the ball down the Jaguars' throats. Um, but hopefully, speedy wishing speedy recovery for Evan Neal. Um, it helps that we have a bye coming up in the next three weeks. Um, hopefully, that will help getting his return back sooner rather than later. And for Daniel Bellinger, it doesn't look good. Uh, he had a very, very bad, scary injury yesterday. He got poked in the eye. Now, I don't know why the fuck they didn't call a face mask penalty for that. He legit got fucking poked in the eye, and they don't even call it a fucking face mask. That just proves how fucking terrible the refs have been yesterday. Um, he is seeing an ophthalmologist today. It looks like he has a fracture somewhere in, in the orbital bone, kind of similar to what Joel Embiid, if you follow the NBA, Joel Embiid had a similar injury. That's why he had to wear a mask in the playoffs. Um, I think it's a little more serious than what Joel Embiid had. He has a fracture, he has an eye fracture. His vision is okay, but he does in fact likely need surgery. Don't know the timetable on his return. Uh, according to some eye doctors, they say it could be a three month uh, recovery time. Other doctors say it could be the rest of the season. I hope it's not the rest of the season. He has emerged as one of Daniel Jones' favorite targets. I'm hoping it's not a lengthy uh, injury. Hopefully he can come back after the bye. Fingers crossed that's the case. But right now, his injury on the front is not looking good. It's just a brutal blow to this Giants already thin wide receiver and tight end group. Next man up mentality, that's what it is. Uh, it sucks, injuries are a part of football. Injuries happen to every team. It's been a wild ride for injuries around the NFL right now. Yesterday, the Jets running back, he tore his ACL. DK Metcalf had another knee injury. It has just been a complete shit show with NFL and their injuries. So hopefully all these guys can get back healthy and as soon as possible because we'll need all three of them. Well wishes to all you guys out there. Again, enjoy the rest of the W. Great win yesterday. Keep these guys in check. Let's fucking hope these guys can get back soon. And let's hope our GM has some fucking trades going in the works. We need a fucking receiver. I got my fucking box tops right here. I got my fucking plastic fucking bags, whatever it needs. I will donate whatever we fucking can get. We need a fucking receiver. Please, Joe Shane, bring us a receiver. I don't care if it's DJ Moore, Jerry Judy, Claypool, whatever. Give Daniel Jones a fucking receiver. That is all I have for you guys today. I will update you guys on the injury news when I see more updates. Until then, guys, enjoy the rest of your week. And as always, let's go.
Jeebus!